Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported 5 image files, for this demonstration, and I have also imported, particle media file. For this slideshow, you can add as many as images you want, or you can also add video file. Now let's start with creating a new composition. This composition is for media file. All settings will be same. Increase time duration if needed. Let's add the first image to timeline. Here you can scale your image file if needed. Now we will create a frame around this image layer. Select rectangle tool. In fill option, change fill to none. In stroke, change stroke to solid color. Now double click on this rectangle tool, this will create rectangle frame. Here you can increase the frame stroke value. I will set it to near about 35. If you want you can set the frame color here. Or you can add fill, and set color of your choice. Similarly, we need to create 4 more compositions for remaining image file. Here I will create 4 more duplicates of this media composition. Here I will replace the image file of all the duplicate composition. Select the file you want to replace. Now select the file you want to replace with. Press Alt key. Now drag the new image file over the old image file. Here the image is replaced. Similarly we will do the same for all remaining compositions. Perfect. For all the 5 compositions, you can see image files are changed. Now let's bring them in single composition in the form of slideshow. Create a new composition. Name it as slideshow. Remaining all will be same. Now let's create a new solid. This will be our background layer. Now in effects and preset, search for fill, add it to solid layer. Here you can set any color of your choice for background. Perfect. Now let's add first media composition to timeline. We will change this media composition to 3D. Change scale to 80%. For media composition, press P to bring up position. Now near about at 15 frames, we will create position keyframe. Now at start of the timeline, change position of media composition as shown. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph, as shown. Now let's enable blur. You can see the motion blur effect. Perfect. Now let's add second media composition. Change it to 3D, enable blur. Change scale to 80%. We will start this composition at 20 frames. At distance of 10 to 15 frames. Create keyframe for position. At start of this composition, 
change position value as shown. You can see the effect. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph, as shown. Perfect. Now for media composition, press R to bring up rotation. At 10 frames, create keyframe for Z rotation, change rotation to 2 degrees. Now at start of the composition, change rotation to 20 degrees. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph, as shown. Perfect. We will do the same for remaining three media compositions. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the particle media file to timeline. Change mode to add. Now create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to adjustment layer. Slightly adjust the curves, as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our slideshow is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.